So let's uh, take care of his these little side holes in, in his head where his arms come out. So that's just going to be some basic subtraction. So we're going to use a cube. And uh, just want to try and get it as centered as possible. So gonna shrink it in a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Hold shift. drag it in the direction we want. Okay. Alright, so that's a little too big. So my reference it's cutting just a little bit underneath here and into the yellow stripe. It's right there. And I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. It's right. So I just want to pull it a little bit further down. So I'm going to go to 0.25 on the snap grid. There we go. And then let's make this an even five. that as centered as possible. So that looks pretty good. Gets his legs that aren't centered. Mm, actually, we can actually use this because this is centered. So yeah, that's selected. I'm going to use the left mouse key. make a make a copy first we're gonna make that a hole we're gonna edit duplicate I'm gonna take that I'm gonna move it down about half Maybe just a little bit higher. OK. 
Okay, so that's a clear 10. All right, then select this piece. I'm going to move down an angle so that way we can grab it from below. And in this part up here won't go as deep. So we'll slide this out a bit. All right, so we just want it. out there. Okay. And this bottom piece Yeah, that's a good length, 23. And then this one, let's just let's just try to line it. There we go. All right. Now, so we want this piece. We want it to basically have the same angle as this. So in order to do that, we're going to have to cut it first so that way we it goes in at an angle cuts in at an angle that's identical to the to his head so best way to do that is we still select the head make a copy okay and then turn this back to a color and select the head, make that a hole, and shift select this piece and do a group. Now that didn't work because for some reason this head did not duplicate. So go undo, do again. Yeah, did not copy. So undo. Okay, select it again, edit, duplicate there. When you see that flash around the edge, that usually means it that means it's duplicated it. So now we turn it to a hole. Shift select this piece. Group. Alright. Now if we use our right arrow key and slide this out, see? It cut it so it's at an angle. So that'll help the cut inside be at the same angle as his head. We'll use the arrow key again. We'll turn this into a hole. All right. So we'll shift select the head and we'll do a group. Okay, that's pretty good, but we want it deeper. So undo, use the arrow key, and hit it twice, and shift select, and group again. Okay, that's good. This is oh, that's this piece here. So we'll have to fix that. So undo, 
All right. Now, the other thing I, I almost forgot was we need to do this exact same thing on the other side of his head. So I'm going to select these two objects and we're going to copy them. Edit, duplicate, and then we're going to move them over to the other side. So if you hit shift, okay, then we need to rotate it 180 degrees. So use the inside wheel to lock it. And then we'll use the arrow key piece here is a little too low so I'm going to move it up okay and that's going to change so don't worry about it so select the head shift select this top piece and group There you go. All right. And then I select this piece and this piece and just move it up a little bit because see, we got a little bit of lip. Actually, let's wait and see what that does. Shift select the, bo the head. Select the bottom piece and group and see what that does. Ah, now what happened? We didn't cut this piece, that's because it's a separate piece. So let's undo. Now we make this into one piece. But not yet. So we'll do the other side. Shift select and group. And see that wasn't as deep. So undo, select this piece, and we'll use the arrow key. We'll use the right arrow key and hit it twice and see what that does. Shift select the head and group. It's better, still needs to be deeper. So undo and then hit it the right key, right arrow key twice. Shift select the head and group. Okay, there we go. Now, in order to cut out this piece as well as this piece, we make to, need to make two copies. So, do is select this, go to edit, duplicate, okay. So now we can do two of them because this piece is separate from this piece. So, so select one of these cubes, shift select the head, and go to group. There. 
And now we need to cut out this piece as well. So shift select the whole cube, shift select the stripe, and group. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, undo that because we have two separate pieces here. So let's make them one. So shift select this piece and then shift select this piece. Being difficult. I'm just going to check something. Yeah, so I thought. So this is a separate piece. So undo. And they're right on top of each other, so it's really hard to select them. So I'm going to make another copy of this cube. Go to edit and duplicate it. And now group. Again, did not work, so having a problem selecting that. So go back to undo, and we need to select that piece, but this one's in the way, so we'll use the arrow key to move it out. So remember 23 millimeters. Shift select that. And then shift select this piece. And we're going to group those into one. All right, then this goes back to 23. Then shift select this piece and group. There we go. We'll do the same thing, although it'll be more far more simple over here. So shift select this cube and group. Oops. <laughs> undo so edit duplicate this cube select the head group and select the stripe shift select the whole cube group there we go All right. It's coming along. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.